GOP officials from North Carolina, or one particular North Carolina county, have decided that they want to retaliate against Coca Cola because its CEO decided to just say something once about the undemocratic nature of the voter suppression bill in Georgia. Now, Coca Cola is based in Georgia, which is the reason why he felt the need to say something. But Republicans really got their fifis heard over this. So Surrey County voted two to three to ban Coke vending machines in its public buildings in response to the Atlanta company's statement, claiming the new laws would diminish or deter access to voting, which is actually true. Now, Surrey County Commissioner Ed Harris said in an email to the Coke CEO that our Bro, our board felt that was the best way to take a stand and express our disappointment in Coca Cola's actions, which are not representative of most views of our citizens. Our board hopes that other organizations across the country are taking similar stances against Coca Cola and sincerely wishes that future marketing efforts and comments emanating from your company are more considerate of all your customers' viewpoints. So, Ed Harris is not happy about the, in my opinion, incredibly mild political speech coming from Coca Cola CEO. But they certainly do love Coca Cola's political financial contributions to the Republican Party. They don't complain about that. That kind of speech is totally fine with them. But when it comes to, you know, maybe speaking out against voter suppression bills, can't have it. It's just Rashad, jump in. I need you to give me a little yep. bit of faith in life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me try. These individuals are so hypocritical. Look at the irony of this. They are the ones who fought to make sure corporations were people. And mm -hmm. they said that these corporations who are people, they have the ability to have their political speech protected. That was the genesis of that entire movement. And part of their political speech is not only money, but also what they say on the record. And I wonder, does this same commissioner have a problem? Are they passing votes to ban? Uh, the guy with the funny mustache, uh, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow loser. Okay, because he's gone on record as well, and he has said things that are hyper political, and those hyper political statements has not gotten him banned in pro Republican counties or by conservatives. So they are okay with certain political speech. And let's be clear about Coca Cola. Coca Cola came to the uh, conversation. After the law was passed in the state of Georgia, Senate Bill 202. They initially wrote a letter in support of the bill. After mm. the bill passed, they then came out and said, "Oh my goodness, we had no idea that the bill was this bad. Shame on Republicans, and we should not tolerate this. Bill had already been passed. Their lobbyist allowed it to pass without any type of contrary um, conversation in that bill passage. And then afterwards, the CEO says, "Oh, we made a mistake. And that is it, Coca Cola did absolutely nothing more. Mm -hmm. Obviously a drop in the bucket, they don't care about the money they're losing here. But these are the same folks that uh, scream cancel culture. Every time somebody says we're not going to use this product or we decide to boycott this, they call boycott anti-American. However, they engage in boycott of a different level. They engage in boycott by using the power of legislation to do so, which is quite different than citizens deciding to economically withdraw from a corporation that does not meet their value system. Yeah, yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Dr. Richie, for pointing out the fact that Coca Cola was on the wrong side of this to begin with. And then I believe it was like 500 like black business owners in the state, like all across the country who were like, no, you should speak out about this. Same thing, yeah, with Delta, who, you know, that wasn't going to say anything about voter suppression bills. And then they spoke out about it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, Republicans are all sensitive about it. Yeah, why don't you raise the corporate tax rate? That'll really hurt them <laughs> instead of taking away a vending machine like oh yeah good. good good for you the just the tiniest soapbox you could find you stood on it and made it a big deal um i just want to point out and dr Richie, your your comment on this really made me remember 
Remember how Republicans, I believe it was Texas, but I feel like it was a number of states, passed a bill that said you could not restrict Chick-fil-A from yep. serving in airports, even though it like consistently is anti-LGBTQ, is anti-trans, right? Is like pours tons and tons of money into all of those sort of hateful organizations. And then they had to pass a preemptive bill saying, no, 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 protect Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Right? Like it's just, it's so obvious where they stand. And I love them just sort of like eating corporate America alive. And you just kind of want to be a meme where you watch them fight. You know, you're right. there with like smoking, <laughs> smoking a J, just watching them fight. Like, okay. No, but that's the thing that I find so fascinating about this story because. Don't get it twisted, like the Republican Party loves corporate power. They love giving handouts to corporations. I mean, right now, part of the reason why any legislation stalls, especially in the Senate, is because the Republican Party, with the help of some corporate Democrats, by the way, don't wanna raise taxes on corporations. They go out of their way to protect corporations. And by the way, they do it because they're bought off by said corporations, both the left and the right. In Congress, I'll give you an example. So, this is a screenshot from OpenSecrets.org, which you know helps you follow the money and understand you know who's getting funded, who's getting paid by which corporation. And if you take a look at the donations during the 2020 cycle, these are the donations given to the National Republican Senatorial Committee, National Republican Congressional Committee, and Donald Trump by Coca-Cola. So when it comes to Republican members of the Senate, you got $32,724. When it comes to the House of Representatives, you have $32,461. Donald Trump, they donated nearly $25,000. So the point here is there's all sorts of corruption taking place on a regular basis that gets, that gets sold to the American people as speech. And this is the kind of political speech that Republicans don't complain about. They love it, they love it. But if you have a CEO that just pays lip service following backlash over this voter suppression bill. Then they act like little children and talk about banning vet Coke vending machines in public spaces. Okay, I mean, let them fight, I don't care. But it is important to point out that hypocrisy because there's certainly, mm -hmm. certainly corporate speech that Republicans just cannot get enough of. And that's why they serve corporate donors as opposed to their own constituents. Yeah. yeah, and I also think it's important, look, we are super critical of corporate power. But sadly, we live in a very hyper capitalist corporate run, depend more on the private sector than the public sector. We are working to change that. I believe in social movements to change that. At the same time, I do think that while their behavior is different, I also think that corporations, um, they lead away, they show you the most basic center, just like complete middle of the road political stance, which is, hey, people should be able to vote. It should be easy to vote and you shouldn't suppress the vote, especially when it comes to communities of color. Okay, Yeah. hey, you're 2021, like that is not a controversial stance. So I think it's important for leftists because we're sort of like our brains are like, because we're like, how am I on the same side as Coca-Cola? You're not, you're just there suddenly in like the 80s now and we're in like the yeah. present moment, right? Um, yeah. So it is, it's a barometer and it is important obviously to like push these these corporations to do more and say more and put their money where their mouth is and make their actions right with their words. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.